Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. This is Gloria White coming to you with a chat with some words for food for thought, with some food for thought. Now, I know a lot of you think that I'm a really strong Christian, and I am. And if I were to show weakness or vulnerability, does that make you afraid? Does that make you feel like, gosh, if she can fall down before the Lord and fall apart and weep and cry and talk to the Lord God about my concerns, and how grateful I am for his salvation. Does that make me weak? That's not what the Bible says. But here in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, we're just going to read from verse 1. It is not expedient or profitable for me Doubtless to glory or boast. You know, Satan was proud. And Jesus was the complete opposite. He was humble. Don't ever be afraid to humble yourself before God. I did that video because I wanted you to see how much I love my God. And... And what it means to me to be able to go to him and pour out my heart <laughs> and my soul weep <laughs> uncontrollably before him. He already knows everything that's in my heart. He can read it. He already knows everything I've ever done. The angels have reported it. So should I try to hide my feelings from my God because I am too proud to humble myself before him? That would almost be, to me, like blasphemy. You know, like lying to God, putting up a facade that we're more powerful than we are or that we think we're powerful. God knows us from the inside out the number of hairs on our heads. He can tell you how many there are. So, I often pour out my heart to God. I just never did it on video before. But I wanted you to see. I wanted you to see that when we are weak in Him, then we're strong. <laughs> you know, I get my strength from somewhere. <laughs> Let me continue reading this. And I knew a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such an one caught up to the third heaven. This is Paul saying that he was brought up to the third heaven, but he didn't know if he went in his body or in his spirit. He didn't know how he got there or how it was he went, but he was there. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I could not tell, God knoweth, how that he, how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable, inexpressible words, which it is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such an one will I glory, and that is boast. Yet of myself I will not boast or glory, but in mine infirmities. Paul had something wrong with him physically. 
And he asked God to heal him on three separate occasions. And God answered him, my grace is sufficient. Sometimes we suffer for the glory of God. And that's just the way it is. And we have to understand that whatever comes to us, God's will is being done. We are in his hands. Our lives are in his hands. He holds us up. He sends angels that protect us when we are completely unaware. And at times, we've probably entertained angels unaware. So let us continue here. In verse 6, For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth, but now I will forbear, or do not know, for now I do not know, lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations, there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, or to beat me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought, or pleaded, he pleaded with the Lord, Thrice, three times, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, this is God speaking, Jesus' words, right here on this page. In verse 9, in Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, My grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is power, is made perfect in weakness. Made perfect in weakness. His power is made perfect in weakness. When we are weak and humble before the Lord, <laughs> His power is being poured out on us. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. His grace is sufficient for everything that we're going through or whatever we're encountering or whatever is happening in this world. His grace is sufficient. And for my strength, power, God's power is made perfect in weakness. Not his weakness, our weakness, when we humble ourselves before him. If you've never done that, you are so missing out on such a blessing. Oh, God loves to hear from his children, really hear from them. He's not a bypasser on the street. Hey, how you doing? Mm -mm. He really wants you to talk to him and tell him what's in your heart. My soul weeps. <laughs> Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. Oh man, I'm not a prophet, but I'll tell you this. I weep, my soul weeps for the things that happen in this world. My soul weeps with tears of joy for the salvation. <laughs> oh my goodness, the prodigal son returned and all the angels rejoice over the finding of one lost sheep. That would be me. <laughs> I was lost. I was drowning. I didn't even know it. But yet he never forsook me. He stood by me. And for that, I am eternally grateful. And I can't wait for the day 
Well, we say we can't wait for something, but therein is the patience of the saints. To wait, to occupy till his return or till he calls us home. Brothers and sisters, don't be afraid to humble yourself before God. That's where I get my strength. And as always, I love you. Oh, and one other thing. I did a video called Talking to the Father. And I put a timestamp on there that you should go to 3943 and listen to the message God gave me to give to you for all of us. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't want you to miss it. And as always,